42 days. That's how long we have until Ghana's next election. And here at the Temamoto Way Interchange, the pressure is mounting. The project, meant to ease congestion at one of the busiest junctions in the country, remains unfinished. But will it be ready before election day? Infrastructure has long been a centerpiece of Ghana's political landscape. Roads, bridges, schools, they are the concrete symbols of development. But they have also been used as political tools. Time and again, we have seen projects rush to meet election deadlines, sometimes at the cost of quality. At the Tema Interchange, the stakes are even higher. The overhead section, crucial for easing traffic, still has no asphalt. And in the race to complete it, concerns grow about the quality of the work being done. But what exactly goes into building an overhead road or flyover? Constructing a flyover isn't just about pouring concrete and laying asphalt. It's a complex engineering process that starts deep beneath the surface. First, you need a solid foundation, often supported by pillars or columns. These carry the load of the road and the vehicles that will use it. Next comes the sub-base and base layers. These are compacted with heavy machinery to ensure the road is strong enough to withstand years of traffic. Compaction is critical. Without it, the road surface could crack or collapse under pressure. But compaction takes time. These machines are what make the magic happen. They compact the soil or gravel, pressing it into a solid, stable base. Proper compaction is the backbone of any road. Rushing this step, especially in a race to meet political deadlines, could lead to potholes, cracking, or even structural failure. The Temamoto Way itself is no stranger to political ambition. Built in the early 1960s by Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, it was a bold vision of progress. At the time, it was one of West Africa's first major highways, a symbol of a country racing toward modernization. But over the decades, like many of our roads, it has suffered from poor maintenance and heavy use. And now, in 2024, the team repeats itself. Infrastructure has once again become a political weapon, with parties promising rules and bridges as symbols of progress. But there is a growing skepticism among voters. Gone are the days when an unfinished project could win votes. People want roads that last, not roads that just look good for a month. With less than two months to go, the Temamoto Way interchange is still far from finished. The overhead section, crucial to relieving congestion, remains incomplete. Will the asphalting, compaction, and final touches be rushed? Will the project be ready in time for election day? In this race against time, we are not just talking about a road. We are talking about trust. Trust in our politicians. Trust in the promises they make. In the rules we drive on every day. The Temamoto Way Interchange is a symbol of that trust. So as we approach election day, the question remains, will the road be ready? And more importantly, will it be built to last?